I have this thing with recycling, upcycling, and repurposing items when I can. I'm Jan Howe. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to show you tips and tricks and ways to make your sewing, crafting, and homemaking a lot easier. In today's crafting tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a tissue box and make them into useful storage containers for your drawers or your shelves. All you'll need is an empty tissue box, five empty toilet paper rolls, a pair of paper scissors, some masking tape, glossy tape, or you can use colorful masking tape. Start by taking your empty box. We're gonna cut off this top portion. This particular box I'm going to use for pencils, paint brushes, and pencils. You can make them as tall or as short as you want. But I found four inches to be a great size for markers and pens and scissors and office supplies so that you can, they'll stick out enough. If I were to use this the same height, the pencils aren't quite as easy to grab. You can use a ruler, of course, if you want, but I like just using the small cutting mat. And I'm going to measure and mark the four inch place on the top of the box. So I'm gonna hold it there and mark that four inch. Just flip it till I have all four edges marked. And of course you could use a ruler or a tape measure. I'm gonna make a cut into the corners down to the place that you marked. I'm gonna angle off and all the way around. Now we're going to just finish off that top edge with some masking tape, painter's tape, washi tape, or colored masking tape. So I think on this box I'll use this yellow masking tape. Pull out a bit so that you have something to work with. We're going to place it, just eyeball it, you can kind of see a shadow of where that's going to be halfway. And then we'll wrap that all the way around. Simply fold the tape to the inside. If the tape isn't sticking very well, like sometimes it doesn't, especially if it's older, you can take just packaging tape and fold it over the top to make it more durable. And there's a tip on how to put it around the corner so it doesn't overlap. Just gonna put that like that. And you're wondering how am I going to wrap around that corner I'll just show you that. Wrap it around the corner, but if we were to fold it, there was a portion of it that wouldn't be sticking. So all you do is take the scissors and make a cut right in the corner down to the box. And that way you can fold it and have it stick. See that? Just fold that down. And now my box will be more durable and that Wasi tape will be stuck down. That orange polka dot's pretty cute in your box. And now we'll cut the toilet paper rolls to four inches. And these toilet paper rolls usually have some lines of glue on it, so it'll help guide you to, to make a straight cut. It's okay to fold it in half to make that cut. And they'll spring right back. Once you have five, Simply stick them in your box. So they're arranged like this. And you really have some other places to put things too, not just these five. You can see I could probably use the full box for my paintbrushes. And as you can see, I've upcycled and repurposed this cute little tin jar for my paintbrushes. Scissors work really nice in there. Set that on your desk. If you wanted to cover up that Kleenex symbol, just put a sticker over the top. I really like using these bigger tissue boxes as organizers and dividers in your drawers for things like socks, underwear, smaller items. You can, of course, buy plastic dividers and containers for your drawers, but why not upcycle a simple tissue box? You would pretty much do the same thing I like using the height of this for socks and things, 
but if you wanted, of course, you could put this into an office drawer that is not very high and just cut that down to maybe two inches, finish off the top, and you're good to go. That's it. I hope you found that helpful. I hope it's something that you can implement in your house and use and recycle when you can. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do that. Click on the bell so you can be notified when I put new videos up. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.